Well, there it is. We got our five gallon bucket full. And it took about two hours. So Joyce, what are we having tonight? Shrimp quesadillas. For this recipe, you'll need your taco shells. You're gonna need four of those. You need two cups of chopped spinach, three tablespoons of sweet red pepper, two teaspoons of the jalapeno pepper, two teaspoons of finely chopped garlic, two tablespoons of oil, mayonnaise to spread on the taco shells. You need one tomato sliced. You need a cup of shrimp. What I did with the shrimp, I broke them in half. And then you're going to need cheese. I like the four Mexican cheese, so mine's going to go with the four Mexican. You'll need a cup of that. And then Sam, he likes the mozzarella cheese, so we'll put a cup of mozzarella cheese in his. And that's it. Now you're going to put your two tablespoons of oil in your pan. What you're doing here, you're going to saute the garlic and the peppers. They're going to saute them to they get that. Going to give them about a, about a minute, minute and a half in there. They've been cooking for about a minute and a half. They a little on the soft side. You're going to add the spinach. And you're going to add your shrimp. What I did with the shrimp, you don't have to do this. These are small shrimp, but I just that's how I broke them in half like that. Just pinch them? Yeah, just pinch them. Just like you're heading them? Yeah. And these, these came from the Halifax River, right? Right, these are these Halifax. Print. I just want to saute all this in here, get the shrimp so they start turning pink. We're gonna find some good ways to use up our yes. small shrimp. We gotta come up with something. We got so yeah, many of them. We caught a lot of small shrimp this year. <laughs> a lot of small shrimp. Yeah. Not that. I mean, they're not that small. No, I actually had these labeled. They're not like those. Would you? I said I. I actually had these uh, labeled extra small, but they. They're you can that. see they're not. These ones weren't extra small. They were just perfect size. Yeah, they're not like those salad shrimp, real tiny ones. No, no, those things were when they sit. Serve your fried shrimp and you open up. Yeah, there's no shrimp in it. Of, they got a bread in the thing. Okay, they're starting to get cooked. That spinach really cooks down, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it, it's, uh, two cups of spinach is almost nothing. Okay, they are done. You just set them aside. You want to wipe your pan out, take the excess oil out of there. Just be careful when you do this because it's hot. Turn the burner off and just set it back on there. Set these aside. Your next step is you're going to spread a thin layer of the mayonnaise on each taco. Turn your burner back up on high. You make sure you get it all, the edges, all spread on there. This might not, this is how I do it, so. Right? You, and then another way, then there's other ways of doing this, but this is how I do it. What I like to do is sprinkle a little bit of cumin in here. Not a, if you like a lot, you can put a lot. We just like a little bit. And you're just going to mix that up in there. Get a, 
plate. Dump this on a paper towel so some of the excess moisture comes out of it. And just pat that. So it's a little bit you want you don't want that real real wet. Same way with same way with the tomatoes. What I did with the tomatoes, I put them on a paper towel and then you punch out where the seeds are and then put them on paper towels and drain them so they're not real wet also. Okay, now we're ready to put in the pan. Just press the cheese on here. Slices of tomato. You're going to take your shrimp. Put that in here. With the other one, you want it mayonnaise face side up. Peek at the underneath. You can see it's brown. Now you're going to take that and flip it. And just push it down a little bit. It doesn't take long. They don't want it. They, they can burn real fast. You just got to be really careful. You can hold it up. I might put a little cheese in there. to get nice and crunchy. You know, one of the burns, you just got to peek at it every once in a while under there. Cheese is melting nice in there. Okay, okay this one's done. You put that over and put it on your plate. Sam. And a side down. That's the cheese. I'm just going to sneak a little bit of the four cheese Mexican in there. Mm -hmm. You're going to sneak it in. I'm going to sneak it in. Yeah. Make it better, huh? Makes it a little more flavorful. And A side up again. Put it on there. Look at your bottom. It's almost ready to flip. Just push it down a little bit. you got a lot of stuff in there. Just hold on to it and flip it. All nice and brown. Mayonnaise, I think, gives it an extra flavor to it when you do that. You just got to keep checking them. going to garnish it with a little topping of the shrimp. So Joyce, you're going to give them a try and see if they're good? Yeah. Mm. What do you think? Good. I'm going I to have so. How can it be bad when you have those nice uh, fresh caught shrimp? 
So if you overcooked it, it could be bad. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But we're going to serve it with uh, Paul Newman's peach salsa and um, chips. So if you enjoy our videos, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thanks a lot for watching.